Hello and welcome to the Raggy's Beers, Wines and Spirits review. So today, Brothers Strawberry and Lime English Cider uh, in a can. I can't remember ever seeing it in a can before. And uh, we had a nice day at work, so come home and thought to have a cider. You know, it's like having pop bread. I mean, to be fair, all this stuff tastes like pop. And you never get drunk on it, no matter how much you drink. So I'm at work today and uh, the chef was in and it's the third time she's been in and I was told when the chef's in, and she actually told me this herself, when I'm in uh, you have dinner and the first time I bottled it and to be honest the second time I bottled it and I thought this time I thought I'm going to be, I'm not going to fucking bottle it this time, I'm, you know, and, I, and as much as I, I think I'm one of these that, um, you know, I must own up to being a little bit hesitant um, talking to a video camera is one thing but um, yeah I, I'm not a person and whenever you when I used to work on one of my old jobs I always let the uh, the, the girl, woman I worked with she did all she, she was a bit more bullshit than me and it's funny because years ago I was a lot more bullshit but, um, but anyway she came across to me today talking about veg and fruit and herbs and was talking and says uh, um, this pastry is in there uh, get yourself some pastries. So I did. I went in and got a pastry or two. And then says, uh, "You having dinner?" He says, "I'm doing uh, fish and fish and chips." And I went, "Yeah, yeah." yeah. Well, let's go for that. So one o'clock. I was knocking about. Still a bit. Still a little bit. Um, first time. Never been at a job where really. they actually give you a free dinner. And uh, anyway, I got there and uh, yeah, had a lovely fish and ch fish chips and mushy peas. <sighs> Went down a treat, and uh, not have to pay for it as well. So I must make sure that I'm at the right place at the right time. Always place to be, don't it? It's a work perk, isn't it? Don't get many work perks. So I'm working for a fucking fantastic, uh, fantastic place. And then I found out that the boss who used to be there, so it's the owner, is now took direct control of both sides, whereas he used to have a manager do it for him. And uh, apparently, yeah, the manager was a bit of a, a bit of a one, shall we say, judging by all accounts. So uh, it's lucky that I've come when I've come, and uh, enjoying it, I bloody am. So yeah, brothers, um, toffee apple is my favourite brothers cider. With this pink tinge, good lacing around the edge. Um, Obviously, strawberries on those. Strawberries taste, and uh, see if I can pick the lime out. Now, it's been a thing lately where Copperberg, the Cordelig, Alska, and in some way, Sotma, and the new Scala. Like the Swedish ciders have took um, the fruit cider area away from the English ciders. Brothers, not only do they do, do this, but obviously do the quirky ones like Palmer Violet, Marshmallow, Tutti Fruity, Toffee and Apple, will be on Custard, and that's to name a few. So uh, it's good, because this is just as good as the Copperberg stuff, and uh, and it's English as well. So not that I've got anything against the Swedish, because uh, I've got a very, very good mate in Sweden, but, uh, and I've got some great theme parks. But, um, yeah, it's good to see that it's not just the Swedish who are doing decent fruity uh, ciders. Ooh. Just pick out the lime now. Took a while to get going. Got my desk. Uh, my bar area is, is a fucking mess. It's the quirkiest thing I've got in front of me, this thing, to, to, you know, for the reviews. And I did it for the bit, for the World's Strongest Beer Review, but it looks like it's going to stop now because it's perfect. And no one really comes down this beer room anyway, bar me. So, I don't care anyway. So tonight I was going to sit down on the settee and chill. And the wife uh, says, oh, we've got the, uh, my son's mate round. Oh, fucking hell. So I've come out to get some work done just to get out of the way from it because 
two ten-year-olds prattling about in front of me when I'm tired and I don't want it. So I come down the bare room and uh, chill out. I'll take a dose on the settee and sleep for half an hour. No, I'll go gardening, but... Oh. So, my beer order's been shipped that I ordered yesterday. Hopefully it arrives tomorrow. And I can do a, a beer haul video. Looking forward to that. Um, I was going to drive all the way down to Norfolk to St Peter's to go and get this beer so to actually for them to actually bring out a, a bit of the, the set the, the mixed case that's brought out is, is fantastic because now I don't have to and I just hope all the beers are in there because it'd be, it'd be a killer blow to have two of the same especially when you paid you know what you paid to get 12 different ones uh, we'll see I mean, for me, all, all breweries should be doing what I would call a, a review, a reviewer's uh, mixed set. And it could be one of each with a, a branded glass. So that you're drinking out of their glass. And they would go down the tree, especially as Christmas presents. And I might have to look around the breweries in the UK and see if I can start getting some mixed cases. You know, one of each, because it's a great way of going off. And it saves me doing legwork, which I'm all up for. Doing enough work at work without uh, being home and doing it all. Oh. So, went down a treat. Um, like I say, like most of these fruit ciders, they're crisp, they're refreshing. And uh, it's hit me a bit more than it normally does. Um, which is strange. Not it's like pop, but I can actually feel it. It's just tiredness and a bit of alcohol kicking in. Oh, yeah. Unusual for me to feel it, feel it after one of these. It is, it's just like pop to me. I mean, I've had low alcohol versions of strawberry and lime cider. And there's no, no difference. At 0.5 versus 4%, there's no difference whatsoever. Um, I don't know if it's just me. Um, or what, but I've never, even even before I started drinking more than I do now, even in the years when I was drinking once a month or something, I could never it, drink this fruit stuff and never get drunk. One bottle after another. It won't touch me. So, now strawberry cider, went down the tree, can't ask for any more than that really. Um, good strawberry on the taste, good strawberry and lime in the flavour, and a bit of lime on the back end as well. Overall, a very decent uh, fruit cider. Um, about five, does what it says on the tin, 4.5 out of five. Very nice. And now, time to go outside and chill. Looks like Scotland have closed, of course, middle of Scotland have closed all their beers, their bars and rest restaurants and uh, pubs because of coronavirus for the next three weeks. How crippling is that? Um, yeah, just hope it don't come to England. I so said Boris holds out because there's a lot more people in England than there is in Scotland. 68 million, is there something in this country? About 5 million in Scotland. 2 or 3 million in Northern Ireland. Same in Wales, I don't know. So there's a lot more in England and we can't afford to fucking, for the industry to get battered any more than that. So we've already got battered. And, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's tough on all these sectors, the hospitality sector, which I am now a part of. Even though I'm a gardener, I'm still in the hospitality sector. So, um, yeah. But it's the people taking no notice that's the problem. And, uh, yeah. 
they're the ones causing the issues for everybody. And for me, with regards to universities, and I think most of their work should have been done in an online um, state, i.e. Uh, via video links and work, you know, being done like that, lectures being done via video links. You do it that way, you take out a lot of physical contact. But uh, who am I? Just a, just a gardener in Nottingham. And that's all. Thankfully. Right. That's it for this baby. Thanks for watching. See you soon. Cheers.